Welcome to 2 Minute Vape Reviews, where I tell you everything you need to know with no BS added in about 2 minutes. My name is Izzy, and this is the Seattle 100 Watt. The Segele 100W is a dual 18650 Chinese box mod that utilizes the Yihe SX330 chip. The item comes packaged in a nice padded cardboard box wrapped in plastic. Inside the box you have a couple of instruction manuals and a bag of spare parts. The mod itself feels and looks very high quality. Made out of aluminum, this mod is slim and light. It has a nice smooth texture making the box very comfortable to hold in hand. With a very minimalist design, the only engravings on the box are the serial numbers at the bottom and the Segele logo on the side. The buttons are a gloss silver and have a very clicky tactile feel. The up and down buttons are positioned correctly when looking at the screen too. But do you hear that? That isn't the internals of the batteries, it's the fire button. The button itself has a little play and will rattle just a tiny bit, not enough to be a deal breaker but a very minor flaw. The 510 connection is good, offering a copper positive pin that is adjustable so all your addies sit flush with the box. The weird thing is that the pin is reverse threaded. Some reviewers had a problem with this, and Segele has addressed this by putting an info card in the box, showing how to adjust the pin. Good job, Segele. The battery cover itself is magnetic, offering easy access to your batteries, which you'll need because there's no integrated charger. They do offer screws too, in case you want to be very sure the cover doesn't fall off, but the magnets are really strong, and I had no problems with it falling off or rattling around. A definite plus. There is reverse polarity protection, so you won't fry your mod if you put the batteries in wrong either. The screen itself is bright, but still hard to read in direct sunlight. Another gripe I had with this box is that right out of the packaging, the screen had a scratch going diagonally across, and when I looked closer, there were a couple more hair thin scratches. Personally, I like the display, which only shows the important info. You have the watts, volts, ohms of your atomizer, and the battery level. No gimmicky puff counters or anything like that. Turn the mod on and off by clicking the fire button five times, which has become a standard in most devices. And this also features a fire locking option by holding the plus and minus buttons for two seconds, keeping the time you're unlocking and locking to a minimum, another plus. You do have short protection, so the device will warn check atomizer and will not fire if you have a short. The device can fire builds as low as 0.15 to 3 ohms. I put quotes around the 100 watt because the device has a voltage range that only goes up to 7 volts, meaning that you'll only get the full 100 watts if you have a build from 0.15 to 0.5 ohm coil. Another con is that when you're around 20% and trying to fire the mod at 55 watts or above, it won't let you and will display a check battery warning, so I'm not quite sure the battery display is entirely accurate. Speaking of battery life, using two VTC5s and staying around 55 watts, I got an almost full 5 days of vape time out of this. Overall, the Segele 100 watt is a powerhouse, offering a nice sleek design, great battery life, and awesome performance, but still suffers from some negatives with a conditional 100 watt output, slightly inaccurate battery level indicator, and quality issues. 3.8 out of 5 stars. Once again, thanks for watching. My name is Izzy, and this was your 2 minute vape review.